Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Withered Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's start with the bridge of the nose. I'm going to have the head sort of tilted this way and the body coming down straight. So let's start with the bridge. So we're going to draw a curve, kind of like a sideways C. And then from this side, we're going to go around with a curve going towards the left. And on the right side, we'll curve towards the right. And from the ends, we're just going to curl them back down both sides. From here, I'm going to just converge towards the center, but kind of dip down towards the point. So I'm going to find the center point, draw a dot, and from here, I'm just going to curve to the outside of that beak. Let's go into the eyes. So right here, where the side of the nose is, I'm going to go straight up on left and right sides. Then up here, I'm just going to curve down on both sides. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a very shallow sort of curve going upwards, just from the bottom of the eyes. And in the center here, I'm just going to draw a circle with an eyeball. So we'll go all the way around, touching the sides. And over here, I'm just going to draw the same thing, going all the way around. And on this upper side here, I'm just going to draw a curve, just to show the inner side of the eye opening. And on the inside here, I'm just going to color this all in black. Just that all that empty space inside. And in the center here, I'm just going to draw the pupil. Just draw a circle, and I'm just going to draw a little dot in the middle. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. So a circle, and then a little dot. Okay, so now let's get into the size of the jaw, the upper jaw. So here, on this side of the beak, I'm going to draw a straight line going to the outside of the head. From here, I'm just going to connect these two points with a round circle. So this is just going to be like the half circle. Going up, over the eyes, and then back down on the right side. Let's draw the little feathers on top. So on the center here, so center over to the left, draw a curve going up to the top, then from here curving down on the right side. Now here from this point, I'm just going to curve out towards the right, and then I'm going to move over a little bit and just draw a tapered line. Let's do the same thing on the left, so curving out, and then tapering down. Now let's draw the top row of teeth first before we get into the lower jaw. So just below this beak, I'm just going to draw a series of squares, or like half squares. So I'm going to draw three on one side of the beak, and I'll draw three more on the right. Now just below this, he's got the inner teeth, so let's draw a curve just below this row of teeth. Just an upward curve. I'm going to round out the ends, and then I'm just going to double widen that line. Okay, and then from here I'm just going to draw another set of teeth. So again, just drawing sort of half squares. And they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be the same size or the same length. And even the spacing could be a little bit different in between. Now from here I'm going to go down from these sides to the inner part of the mouth. So from this corner, I'm just going to draw an angled line on the left and right. And from both sides I'm just going to come down a little bit. From here, let's draw a straight line angled out to the bottom jaw. Right from here, I'm going to draw the bottom jaw. So let's start here and curve around and connect the left and right sides. From these points, I just want to kind of leave a gap here to draw a curve for the bottom lip. And I'm going to leave a little gap there on the other side. And from here, I'm just going to draw a curve on both sides for the, uh, the bottom beak. And then let's draw the bottom set of teeth. So here I'm just going to draw, again, just some half squares or rectangles for the bottom row of teeth. Going all the way across. Uh, we'll put one more there. And then I'm going to draw what I did here on the bottom. So I'm going to draw a curve for the inner teeth. Round up the sides. And then connect both sides with the curve. And again, I'm just going to draw the bottom set of teeth. Just like so. From this end, end here, I'm just going to curve in towards that row of teeth at the bottom. Just because there's a beak area down here, and it kind of gets lit from the top down. So let's go ahead and color the inside part of this black. And if you're joining us for the first time, I'm using a Sharpie fine point marker. And I usually use these for all my lessons. And you can get these at any stationery store. So 
So if you can take your time with this, I'm just going to quickly go in and just color in between the rows of teeth. A lot of teeth here. Alright, so we got the inner part of the mouth colored in. Let's get into the body. Now this is pretty simple. It's almost like a pear-shaped body. So right on this side of the, the jaw, I'm just going to draw a curve going up to the chest on the left, the curve coming down on the right. And on this side, I'm just going to draw the belly curve. So it's just a sharp curve going down to the belly. Let's draw the waistline. So I'm going to connect these two points with an upward curve. Just like so. Let's draw the bib. So from here, I'm just going to step it in on the left side. Just draw a long sort of curve that goes all the way around. Inside, he's got the text that says, let's eat. So let's draw some simple letters. On the side here, I'm just going to draw a line down. At the top of the L. I'm going to come down, across, down, and then cap the bottom off. For the E, I'll do a simplified E. So I'm basically going to draw a rectangle and then just kind of divide it with two lines for the E. The T, pretty straightforward. Now you can always pause my video or go slowly and just see how I'm doing this, but this is just basic block lettering. And I'm just kind of just eyeballing how to put this in. Another E, big rectangle, two lines. Draw an A, it's so a curved top. And then we'll just curve the inside. Another T, and then exclamation mark. I think we got three in here, so I'll just try to fit three in. Okay, now let's get into the lower torso. So from this point, I'm just going to curve and round out the hips. We're going to go in and converge to a center point. So I'm going to put a point here, curve the left side in, and then from the center, curve out to the right hip. Let's draw some legs. From here again, I'm just going to curve out the thigh, and then the inner thigh comes in. Now here, I'm just going to connect it across, but as I go along, I'm just going to draw a couple little cracks along the way. And here I'll probably put a little squiggly crack in. You can always go in and draw an edge on the left side just to show a little bit of depth. And then we're going to draw a kneecap. So let's draw a half circle underneath that. From here, I'm just going to angle up two little lines. For the shin, it's going to come down and curve inwards, down on both sides. And then again, I connect these with a curve, but along the way, I'm just going to draw a few cracks. Okay, now before getting to the feet, I want to draw the other side of the leg just to make sure it's balanced out. So from here, I'm going to start in the middle and curve down. On the outside here, I'll curve inwards. And again, connecting the two points with a curve, but along the way, I'm just going to draw just some squiggles. Let's draw a little opening here. And again, I'm going to draw it on the right, the crack on the right side. Draw another opening here. And it can be of any shape. It doesn't have to be exactly the way that I drew it. Underneath here, let's draw a half circle for the kneecap. Then again, angling two lines out. Then I'm going to curve the shin on both sides inward. Then again, connecting both sides, but I'm going to draw some more cracks along the way. On the bottom, I'm just going to draw an ankle bone. So just a little joint, so a half circle on the bottom of both sides. And again, I'm going to go inside and draw a few more cracks, little circles. Okay, let's get into the feet. So the feet, I'm going to draw just a simplified foot. So here on the back, I'm just going to draw the back of the foot. I'm going to curve down for the bottom of the foot. And I'm going to round up the toe, but I'm going to put some toenails in here, so some claws. So here I'm going to start on this, the tip of the claw and draw sort of like a raindrop shape. Here I'm going to tuck this in underneath that toe and curve around. Again, from here I'm going to curve up. So this is an overlap. And draw that sort of raindrop shape again. And curve out the top of the foot. For the toe, curve out again, one last raindrop, and then this just gets tucked underneath that ankle. Okay, let's try the other side. So the, the same foot just flipped over. We'll draw the back of the foot, we'll draw the bottom of the foot, curve this up a little bit, and then again, raindrop. And from here, I'm going to continue on and just draw the top of the toe, come in a little bit, draw another raindrop, close this up a little bit. Draw the top of the toe, here again, draw a raindrop, and then close that off underneath that ankle. All right, let's get into the final stretch, which is the arms. Let's draw some shoulders. So here on the top here, I'm just going to round out the shoulder, 
And then from here, I'm just going to draw a sharp turn curve in towards the body. Do the same thing on the right side. On this side here, I'm going to curve out the outer part of the arm. Then this side of the arm, the inner part, is actually kind of starting over here. So I'm just going to kind of poke out this way. And then rounding out to connect the two points. And I'm going to go in and draw a few cracks inside the arm. Let's draw this arm here. So again, this is probably going to go underneath the body. And that side, I'm going to just round that out. And then connecting the two with a round curve. And just drawing some cracks again. Here, I'm going to draw the uh, forearm. So here, I want the arm coming down this way. So I'm going to draw a curve. I'm going to curve the forearm on both sides. And here, I'm just going to crack the edge. Okay, and I'm going to connect the two sides, but I'm going to crack it along the way. Draw some cracks here. And then for the elbow joint, I'm going to imagine like a circle behind there, a round circle, and just draw in underneath the uh, bicep and the forearm. Do it again on this side here, so curving, round out the sides of the forearm, and then again, just cracking it any way you want on both sides. And then again, a circle here, I'm just going to round out the elbow joint. Now, the final part are the cables coming out of the hand, so she doesn't actually have hands. So from here, I'm just going to draw a series of waves, and I'm going to draw them twice over, and just cap them off. Draw a few more. And all I'm doing is basically making it twice as thick on both sides. I'm going to tuck a couple in underneath, like so. Maybe one more here, like that. And then just to finish off the ends, you can just draw a couple little lines just to show the ends of the cables. Let's draw the same thing over on this side. So a couple wavy lines, making it twice as thick, and capping it off. Do that again here, and some of them can be a little bit longer, some of them can be really short, like I'll put a short one there. This one's going to get tucked in underneath and go a little bit longer. Let's draw one more back here, like that, and then drawing little frayed ends of the cables at the bottom. So there she is, there's Withered Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, please make sure you're subscribed. Tell your friends about us, and you can also check out our Five Nights at Freddy's playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. We're going to be adding more later on, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.